Is it traffic flagger or is that a traffic technician? A traffic technician is anybody who works in what? Traffic. So is, it, is a flagger part of the whole traffic team? He is. What separates a traffic flagger from the rest of the guys though? If you're on a remote job site somewhere and there's really not a lot of traffic around you, the hazard you would think would be lower. But when you're in a busy area, you might be in downtown San Francisco. You got cars coming in all different directions. You might have a four way, whatever. And it's just you backing a truck out, right? We got a problem with that because you got traffic coming this way. You might have it coming that way, that way. You can only control one way. It's not as easy as it seems. This class is designed to let you know what is expected of you. The most common one that we're going to focus on today, and I'll teach you a zone, is when you have two lanes going in opposite directions and you have what? A single lane closure. Then you actually have to set up a zone and you have flaggers on either end stopping or releasing traffic and they have to work together. This is all about a team, okay? You are all a team, and on this flagger team, there's one flagger who's a flagger, and the other one is also a flagger, but he's your lead flagger. He's the one in charge. If a car was driving 60 miles an hour, how many feet per second is he actually traveling? 90. And the answer was 90 feet. You just take the miles per hour and you divide it in half, and then you add it to the miles per hour. So that would make 90 feet a second. Now you're just out there 200 feet away. You feel safe, but you're not so safe because if you were 200 feet away, that only gives you what? Little over three seconds to react. Having your PPE, that would be something a good supervisor lines you out with ahead of time and says, this is what you guys need to have before you come out tomorrow. You need to have your, your class three vests on. I want everybody with their safety glasses, dark shades, because we're out here during the daytime. Hard hats, good shoes, water, all these things. As well as safety devices. What's a safety device? It's, an, it's a horn or a whistle or something to notify people, hey man, if somebody blows through my zone, my job is to do what? Protect the people on the other side. And then when I have traffic stopped, then I will get back over there. And then you're just waiting for what? The release from your other guy. You guys would have already, you know, talked this out ahead of time. You know, hey, I'm going to let five cars through, or I'm just going to let everybody I got through. And after that last vehicle, hopefully he would have told me, hey, the last car through is a Dodge pickup truck, the red one. And I would just, there it is. But I'll still give a peek behind just in case somebody creep through. And then, okay. But an emergency situation, right? Well, they told us we use a flag for emergencies, but is every emergency situation the use of a flag? No. A flag emergency is only if you don't have anything set up. If you're already out there flagging, what well, would be an example of an emergency situation? Well, if an ambulance was in my zone, right? If I had an ambulance and I had traffic stop and I hear the sirens and it comes around the corner and comes into my zone, what do I do? What do I do? How do I get people's attention first? Well, you're always doing two things. Just like when you have a stop slope out, you have your left hand up. This is how you alert traffic. From the shoulder down, you're waving it like this, and that's alerting traffic to do what? Slow down. And then when they start to slow down, then you stop them. And you're holding it there until when? Until that accident's gone. And then when you got all cars stopped, you just move off to the side. And then when they're ready to go, make sure you are off to the side and go, all right, we're gonna dismiss you. On three, two, one, go. And then get out of there. This is your high visibility, visibility safety pro, your vest. This is a class three vest right here. I got the extra set of stripes on the sleeve. This is a class two, just the sleeve less. Now this is pretty common, guys, right? Guys working on crews and stuff, they wear this on job sites. But if you're in traffic control, you gotta have a class three, minimum. And at nighttime, you have to have a class three. Why? Because it's more visible, right? Very good, very good. So show me how to get their attention. Very good.